There may be a debate about when is the right time to put up your Christmas decorations, but for the U.S. Capitol Christmas tree program, yesterday was the perfect day to harvest the 2023 U.S. Capitol Christmas tree. 12 News' Barbara Ron brings us the story from the winter wonderland that was the Monongahela National Forest. I fall, fell in hundreds, thousands of trees in my life, and that was the first tree that I've ever put on the ground that didn't pop. Capital Architects chose the 63-foot Norway spruce tree, which project officials estimate to be less than 40 years old, to be the 2023 U.S. Capitol Christmas tree. The nine different Forest Service regions supply the tree on a rotating basis. The U.S. Forest Service finds candidate trees from a national forest that is chosen from that particular region. It's hard to believe that a cone this size that can fit in the palm of my hand can then grow to be a big tree just like this one and then be featured at the nation's capital for hundreds of thousands to see during the holiday season. Officials involved went all out to make sure the tree would remain in pristine condition. So a lot of times they use a chainsaw to cut the tree. Um, this year we're using cross-cut saw, so it's a two-person job back and forth to, to saw the tree. The tree is hooked at the top by a crane, so it's being held. The um, crane will lift, gently lift the tree up off, off the trunk, and um, they'll strap another piece to the bottom rotate it so it's horizontal and then gently place it on the back of the trailer. So it never touches the ground, it doesn't fall, there's no crash, there's no, um, doesn't touch any of the, uh, the trees around it. The two Sawyers this year were Ron Polger, a longtime Mon National Forest employee and world champion lumberjack and Webster County native Arden Koger Jr., who will be continuing a Koger family tradition, as his father had the very same honor almost 50 years ago in 1976. Koger is used to chopping down trees, but this time it was different. I had to saw with the razor sharp teeth basically brushing against my mid midsection <laughs> and uh, it was different. I've done it before but never with a crane attached and that was very different for me because I didn't know what to expect. The tree will then undergo a two day packaging process where they will attach a water bag to the bottom to keep it fresh and then be ready for a two week tour across the state, taking it off in Elkins on November 4th. We will have continuing coverage of the tree and its sawyers throughout the season. Reporting in Randolph County for 12 News, I'm Barbara Ron.